Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers Planet on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome, awesome to have you along. The warehouse is in, and the keep is uh, probably at about 80% completion. Yeah, I know, I didn't quite get to the 90 that I wanted, but I got out of the warehouse here, and, um, you know, you just get busy. You get busy doing something, and your imagination starts flying, and, uh, you know, you lose track of time. But anyways, uh, the warehouse is looking better. It is not what we were talking about originally, where we talked about using the wood walls, because I thought the wood walls just didn't match up with, with this little area right here. So what I've done is I've made the warehouse actually an extension of the wall, and we'll put some things up here too, just to kind of decorate this area. But I'll take you up to the keep. I'll take you up to the keep as well. We'll take a look at that today also. We're gonna do some work today as well. Uh, but yeah, this is like an extension of the wall. You know how this was just open, look straight down into the mine area where we go enter, enter into the mine. We've got that little doorway right out here. This is and the staircase. The staircase that was over here to get up onto this wall is gone now. And I have moved it over to here. Just like so. Oh, by the way, I apologize for the darkness in the last movie. I had no idea it was going to be such a contrast. Uh, this new OBS, it looks like when it's dark out, it has a different kind of record mode. So it uh, it kind of made the video very dark, especially at the very beginning there. Uh, so I'll try. What I did was I made some adjustments to our day cycle. So our day cycle is now, at, the sun's at a, f a 40 degree angle, I think is what it was I changed it to. So the sun comes up over there now and sets. I don't, I'm not quite sure where it's going to set, but we'll take a look and see. Um, and if I have to make an adjustment again, I will. Uh, just so we have more daylight. Uh, I've got a little campfire out here. I was going to put a couple of chairs maybe out here just for decoration. Like people sit around the campfire outside the warehouse. But let's go on inside. Now here's the warehouse. We've got a second floor here that we're going to put rails along. And then, or no rails at all. I don't know. We're not, I'm not sure yet. And we'll be able to come out here and we'll have be extra storage area if we need it. And then we've got storage down here. We'll put chests all along the walls. Now, some of you say, radio, why don't you stand the chests up? And I just don't feel like they look right because it's a chest. It's not a cupboard, it's a chest. So I put the chests down flat and yeah, it takes up more space, but I feel like they look a little more realistic when they're sitting down like this. And that's why I have them right there. Uh, nothing new in the mine. I've moved a few things around down here. Uh, odds are we'll put this stuff in the blacksmithy shop once the blacksmith is available, but we'll keep the workbench there. But not much has gone down in the mine itself. We've just, um, I've been digging down there to get stone. But you can see it looks pretty cool. It's, it's got a really low ceiling when you're up here. I love that idea. And uh, it's just a, a little warehouse. Very simple. Very, very simple. Let's close that up. Let's get our, let's get our tab back up. Uh, let's go up to the keep. You guys can take a look at that, okay? And inside we go. Now we still have to decorate this front area here, and I want to do that with you guys. So I haven't touched that part of it yet, but we have done... Uh, did I go too far? I did go too far. This one side was not done at all. So I've got this area taken care of now. Right over here. This whole side was not finished, and it is now finished... We have the correct battlements on the entire keep. The entire keep is now battlement ready. As you can see here, I put them on and they are called again, the Machicolation. The Machicolations have been put on all of the keep. So they look really nice. I think I like the design of them. They've got this really nice, uh, almost like a finger. It almost looks like fingers coming down and grabbing hold of the side of the, the keep. I really like how it looks on the towers. And I put them down the sides as well, down here. Not up here, we, up here we have the flat battlements, but we have a staircase now that comes up here. And this whole side has been done. We've got a little room back in here. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put in here. We could put additional weapons and things of that nature in here, but I've got a little roof on it and it's just a little tiny room down here at the end. Not very big at all, it's just a tiny little thing. But uh, it does finish this off pretty nicely, I think. And adds just another room on the keep to give the whole place a little more interest. So that is what we've got going on here. God, I hope that sun is going to stay up and continue for quite a, quite a while. Um, I may have to make another adjustment. I don't want it to... 
yeah, I want it to stay up and not set until it gets way over here. So I'll keep adjusting it until I find the right area. I want plenty of daylight for us uh, to record with. But that is what I worked on over the weekend was getting the machicolations put in and getting that side of the keep taken care of. And then, like I said, we're going to work on the front entrance together. And then we still have um, the veranda to put together. The veranda back in the back of the castle there. Back of the keep, we got that veranda to put together. So there's two things we still need to put together on the keep. And then the decoration part. And it should be done. So we're we're almost there. We're almost there on the keep. Enough so that I feel like we could step away from it a little bit and do other projects. And I can kind of wrap up work on the keep myself. Something else I started on over the weekend. I, I got kind of ambitious. And I thought, you know what? And it's what we're going to work on today. One thing we don't have a good representation of is the wall on the front side of the build, our castle here. So I thought what I'd do is I would uh, get started on some of that. So let me take you out front and show you what I was working on. We're going to run right on out here. And you can see now we have a quite a sizable chunk of wall taken care of on almost both sides. We're, we're good along here right over to this corner right here and we've got a few blocks built up over onto this side too but mostly the wall is in across the front of the keep this was quite a bit of work actually it took uh, a couple of hours to lug the stone up to get this wall put together but uh, you, we can't jump through here anymore there's no more of that going on we've got to go through now the front entrance of the castle so I thought we'd work on this a little bit today just so we could have a piece of it represented. So as we come in from the farm or down our dirt road here that leads up to our, our kingdom, that we can see uh, a piece of the wall put together and taken care of. I think that would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we're going to work on this side over here just to kind of iron it out and take a look at it and see what we think. Now the tricky part for me so far has been we need to find a way to get in and out uh, you just love to come up there. I'm going to knock that block out and break the uh, dirt underneath there. What we needed to be able to do is we need to be able to access the wall. Now, it comes in and it it, it, it takes part of, of the gatehouse here. I think the best way to do this is to continue this out over this way. And we put in an entrance here. We'll get rid of a couple of these machicolations right here, these battlements be able to walk out and then up some stairs onto the wall itself. I think that's going to be the case. Do I have materials? I have a stick that apparently has taken some damage. And I've got one of these breads too that has damage. I can just eat it. Eventually it, it goes away. I don't know why it is like that, but yeah, eventually it'll go away. Um, so I think the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take some of these guys down. We'll have to take at least... Well, we're we're going to want a staircase to go behind this thing. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're going to take this all out. That should, uh, that should free us up to be able to do a little bit of work. Never mind. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, radio, radio. This is one thing you don't want to do. You do not want to fall into a crack. Sometimes by breaking some stone, you can get out. There we go. Okay, beautiful. All right, good deal. We're going to put uh, some big boy blocks there anyway, so we're good there. Whew. Yeah, you, don't want to be, you don't want to do that. You do not want to fall in those crevices. They will suck you in and uh, make it so you can't move, obviously. What happened to my hammer? Four. Let's get this one out of here too. I'm trying to see just how far back I have to go because it's going to be a staircase off of here to go back, uh, to go up onto the wall. I'm going to have to gather some supplies and put them together and we'll figure this out. Uh, a staircase could go right here as early as this spot right here up and then up to that right there so okay so I need to do some serious big boy block building and those take I think it's 12 stone a piece those take a little bit of material I do have some sticks stored up 
so we're okay in that regard but I do not have any stone stockpiled because yeah we got to come down here and do stone one two three I need to go too wide with it and bring it out to well up to this maculation right here so out that far so let's let's grab some stone and get started on that uh, inventory I've got yeah very little stone I believe I've got a bunch of sticks in here this is where I was kind of stockpiling them for now in the card house uh, yeah we got some sticks in here that's awesome okay we got all uh, some timber in here too I got I swear we had more sticks I must have been I must be using them I must be using them that's what it is uh, these beams are still acting weird. That's what they look like. I tried to show it the other day, and it was really dark in the last episode. But you can see there's two of them matching each other, going straight down into the ground there. So let's go down into the mine. Our pick is brand spanking new, so I think we're okay there. By the way, the campfires are not burning wood. I can let this thing burn all day long. It was off when I first got in today, but other than that, it's always burning. Always burning. And down we go, and you can see I've taken a lot. I've taken all the dirt that was right here out, and now we are down into this area here, doing our mining of stone, which is dirt. But uh, let's fill our inventory up, and we'll get uh, kind of started on that. Let me get the platform put in. I mean, that's nothing really exciting. I'm going to be just uh, you know dropping blocks and hammering in stone. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back, and we'll take a look at where we're going to go next to kind of get that wall kind of represented as to what the rest of it's going to look like. All right, I have us up here. Uh, let's go G. I don't need those anymore right now. What we need is our wooden stairs. These guys are going to go right over here. Hmm. Uh, yes. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. I wanted them this way, but... Those machicolations are going to cause some problems, I do believe. So let's go ahead and put it over here instead. We're going to knock these guys into place, too. These guys are interesting. If you're up here, you don't get much progress. But if you hammer down here, you get 10 progress for each swing. So keep that in mind. <laughs> if you want to put them together fast, look at the floor of it. And it goes together in 10 hits. Let me show you that again. Up here... Oh, wow, that was 1122. Oh, wow, okay, so this is even better on this one. Then again, this is just a corner one, too. It's a smaller piece, so it only takes three stone. But I was noticing as I was putting them together, and I put a lot of these together <laughs> this weekend, um, that when I aimed at the bottom of it, I would get 10 stone per hit. And on the side walls here, I would get uh, considerably less. Let's put it that way, considerably less. Uh, all right, we're going to need a rail there because it's just unsafe. do that they, they've made such a great improvement on the rails they used to, to used to just drive me crazy trying to get them put in place and now they just snap right in and they hold steady without having to have anything above here to do anything with so over here we're gonna do another staircase right here okay and then we're gonna do we don't need the ramp anymore we'll put this over here and this is going to go, I guess I'm probably in the way. Like so. Safety first, people. Safety first. King doesn't want people getting hurt. <laughs> okay. That goes there. And then we need a number seven again. No, number eight. Eight. There we go. Just spin that around and it puts it on the other side just great all by itself it does a nice job it works so much better than it used to i love it then again it could have been builder error because you know it's me <laughs> takes me a while to get things done right and like so there we go and i'm thinking here too probably what we should do can i get a rail underneath this No, I don't I don't think I can. Okay, so that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and do it here then. Like so. 
I love building with the wooden uh, railings. Uh, Z. This is going to let me tack it together from out here. Oh, I had it there for a second. There it is. There we go. We can put a brazier there. Back in there. Okay, so now we're up on the wall. Ah, yes, the wall. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. We are up here, and this is fabulous. Now here, I, I do want to go... I was thinking about the machicolations, but man... I, I guess I feel like I'm being a little cheap, because they are... They're not that expensive. They're only five five blocks each. They're, they're really not that expensive. I, do we have an angled one? Can I do an angled one on here? I don't think we have angled small round and then we've got the big one there so we don't have the angled ones where we do have angled here we've got the diagonal ones here and we've got these guys here and I think the other ones would look better on here I, I do the collations would look good on here but uh, we need to be able to do the angles you know what I mean we, we need these guys right here these guys are kind of weird to put in I'm just not... Maybe if I aim it right at that. Z? It took me a while to get these to go in the right spot. Up above, too. Up by the, the uh, Dijon. It just... Yeah, I just don't know what... It takes some finagling for me to do that. I just don't know what to do to get them to... Like this one here is sitting perfectly. Where am I pointing? I'm pointing right there. I want you on the inside of that. So I got, I got it to sit right here, just perfectly. No, that's still on the hanging on the over the edge. But the, up on the Dijon, it's not doing that. It is sitting where it needs to sit. Part of me thought if I aimed, maybe if I aim at that block there. Yeah, I don't know. They're 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 a little tricky for me. For me, they're tricky. So I wanted to do these guys here because we do have a, a few angles that we need to do. It looks like the wheat is right down there. I've got a little bit of everything planted out there right now that uh, I'm gonna have to harvest and make sure I grab hold of it. The cabbages give you a well. I don't know. I don't know. I was noticing I was getting quite a few cabbages each time I went out and picked the cabbage. Maybe if I've got these tacked together, this will work better. Behave. Why? Yeah, it, it it should it should work. It should work. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's driving me crazy. I'm sure you guys will tell me what it is I'm doing wrong, for sure. Yeah, they just drive me absolutely batty. Uh, can we do the corner one here? No. Here we can. Then we've got a block that we can put in there to... Uh, I'll show that one to you as a matter of fact. like this right here and 
And then remember, we put the uh, the wood brackets on this side with the, the flooring on it. And that gives us uh, a little more space. And it kind of hangs off the back side, which gives it a good look. Yeah, I had to put some angles in the wall. Otherwise, it was just not going to fit very well and look right. So I did have to do that. I'm thinking about adding an angle over there, too, where I was uh, struggling with the, uh, the corner block there, too. Like so. Hey, uh, but while I'm sitting here hammering stones in, thank you guys so much for your support on the series. I think a bunch of you are coming in and you're finding Medieval Engineer's Planet. And welcome aboard. It's really great to have the new subscribers and to have everybody here. And the comments have been fantastic. The suggestions and ideas keep them coming. I love them. They are fantastic. A uh, lot of inspiration, that's for sure, uh, during this series. Uh, a lot of uh, teamwork from all of us. And I guess I get that on all the series, too. They, everybody really chimes in and helps out a lot and really uh, makes it a lot of fun to uh, be part of it, I think. So that's very cool. So thank you for that very much. Uh, we are going to need more stone. Uh, the, the guy I was going to show you real quick is this guy, right? Uh, I'm going to drop that off of here. This guy... Stone battlement parts, diagonal left, diagonal left, diagonal right. It's this guy right here, this guy right here. There is a short little one. There he is. Boom, just pops right into place there. And he just cleans up those corners really nice. I love that guy. He's awesome. Perfect. Takes one stone, a few hits, and you've got a nice, smooth line going on around here. You can do the same thing right here with number six. Right there. And he just fits so well. And uh, just evens that out. That's a mod, too. It's I think it's like 67 extra blocks or something like that. It's something like that is what it's called. But uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I wish I could figure this guy out down here. You know, I've just fiddled with it long enough and eventually it went to the right it went in the right spot. Yeah, I don't know what I did though. You know? It wants to go out over the edge, and I, I just don't understand that. I'm pointing at this corner over here now, thinking it's gonna do what it needs to do, and it just does not. And then the other solution was put a block on the outside of it. Well, I shouldn't have to do that. I should be able to set this down. And it should go into place. But it just does not want to do that. What am I doing wrong there? I'm going to hold off on that. Let's get... Uh, you know what we're going to need here? We're going to need... That right there. We're going to need one of these guys right here. Just to... Because the, the wood... The wood pieces are not going to fit back in here too well. It's going to be pretty tight for them. But look here. Now we're getting up and down off of here. And we're going to do the same thing on this other side here too. Where we find a way to access the wall. Which is going to probably be back here in the corner somewhere. To get to that wall over there. But uh, yeah, we're getting more structure on the wall. That's for sure. So let me get some more stone. And get a few more things hammered into place. And then I'll come back. All right, I've got the side supports on the back side of the wall. And I'm putting the flooring in right now. We're almost there with just a small piece of this. I mean, it's got to go all the way around the entire castle. You know, it's got to go all the way around here. But... We've got a chunk of it done. It's going to come like this all along here. And then we're going to put these guys on the back side of this as well. So we might as well tack some of these in place also. Give us a little more representation. This one corner back here is a little weird. It gets really close to the keep and I can't put anything back there. So I've got to come up with a solution for it. I think I know what to do. Uh, we're really close to the ground here. So the need for those wooden brackets that we have here and stuff it really wouldn't be necessary here so I think what I'm going to do here I'll show you in just a second we're not going to have enough material to do it though I 
And we're out of that. Okay, and we've got a few more sticks left. Uh, these guys right here. I need timbers. I need some timbers. Shiver me timbers. I need some more timbers. But it gives us a good platform. I'll show you what it looks like from down below here too. Ooh, I'm running like a madman to get things done in timely fashion here for you guys today. But uh, let's take a look back up at it. That's how it looks from the backside. It, it really gives a nice uh, structure to the back of the wall, I think, up next to the keep and everything. We've got a little bit of wood going on there now, so I think that adds a lot to it. Really helps out tremendously. We've got timber right in here. Not much left. We're running to low on it. There it is, empty. And I think, what do you said I could take these guys and turn them into sticks? don't get 15 for each log is that it maybe you do yeah see I like the way that looks up there that's much better better than just all stone you know we'll take a look out front too at it let's get a little bit more of this hammered in and we'll see what we come up with stairs stairs up on the platform here now we're good to go this area, it gets a little weird, but we can't put an angle in there because we are right up against the keep. Oh, wow. You know what? I don't think we can do this either. Yeah, we can't get that there. Hmm. It's so close to the keep, it doesn't want to go there. do I do there? I've got myself backed up right against it. Boy, that is going to be... If it won't let me put this in there, it's not going to let me put the battlements in there either. Nothing's going to be able to go there. I don't even know if I could pull off an angled block back in here either. We'll give it a look and see. Let's see if we can let's see if we can pull this off. Um, there it is right there. Okay, I can do this. Is that rail just hanging out too far? Is that all there is to it? Yeah, it's just... It must be touching the corner of the wall there. Oh, this is wrong. We don't want to do these yet. I'll come back and do that on my own. Um, is there a corner, a piece of corner? There's no corner piece of flooring, is there? Ah... Uh, it's going to be a bit of a problem right there. It's not too bad, though. Oh, wow, that sun. Yeah, that sun lasts a long time. Okay, I love that. Okay, that's really great. Even the moon is out already. Look at the size of the moon. Looks pretty awesome. Let's go out front and take a look. The sun's going to be going down, so that means I have to be done with recording. I don't, I'm not going to record at night if I can help it. Out we go, and boom. I've changed some settings again as well. I think I talked about it maybe on OBS to see if we get a better better picture quality here. Yeah. That's our angle though. That angle piece of wall, the battlements are supposed to go across there and we just don't have... I, I, I'll, I'll fiddle with it some more. You guys let me know where do I need to point that block in order to get it to react and do what it's supposed to do. It's crazy. 
But now we definitely have a wall. Yeah, we definitely have a wall now. That looks good. I like that. Come all the way down and around. Yeah, this angle over here is really a pain. We'll get it. We'll get that worked out. I'll get it worked out. Let me know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong there, and I'll work it out. But that is going to be... That's going to be an episode. Lots, lots done. Lots done on the Rising Sun Kingdom. We've got quite a bit of work done. Uh, pretty happy with it, too. Next episode, we won't be working on the wall. I wanted to do a little bit more of that with you right there, just to get kind of an idea as to where we're headed with that. Get a chunk done. But the rest of the wall, I do believe I will be working on on my own, and I'll just bring you guys back and show it to you when bits and pieces of it are completed. Let's go up here. Can we get a good look at it from up here? We sure can. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like that. Lots of stairs, lots of wood in there. Mm-hmm. Gives, uh, gives some interest to it, I think. Definitely. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I'm the Radio Man 3 Hey, thank you so much for your time and again for your support. I appreciate it very, very much. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.